football agent, Rachel Anderson. It's good to have you on the programme tonight. Hi. I mean, it is a far-right gesture. If it was in normal life, he'd have been arrested, wouldn't he? I would like to think so, yes. So yes. what do you make of it? Well, I, I think that um, the FA are going to you know, take him to task very seriously. Well, I hope they are. Because it could have been coincidence that he did this at a, you know, an East End club that historically had a lot of Jewish people, and also a club owned by Jews. I, I don't know, um, but the mere fact he's, he's admitted that he um, he did it in support of his right wing friend in France, he knew what he was doing. Um, and just out of interest, I mean, you obviously represent many football players. If one of your players had done this, what would you do, or how would you feel about representing them? Uh, well, I, I would no longer represent them. You feel that strongly about yes, it? Yes, you know, because they're the same as if, if they're racist or, um, I'd like to say sexist, but um, that's a battle I can't always win, so I'm going to leave that one. But, but certainly, there, there's a line, and you shouldn't cross it. You really shouldn't. And, of course, we can't speak for him, but do you think players were on the pitch and they scored a goal, do they know what they're doing? Because they know that the eyes of that football match, indeed the world, are watching them at that point, right? Well, that, yes, I think so, because, I mean, it's, it's not the same as, as lifting your shirt up or, or doing a funny somersault. You know, that, that's totally, usually, spontaneity, you know, some sort of spontaneity. And I suppose in the heat of the moment, they could do something silly, right? They could, but, you know, if, if someone had did a, a Nazi salute, I, I don't think it would have taken so long to have taken someone to task. I think that, you know, everyone would have been out, outraged quite quickly. And certainly one person who's outraged is Lord Sugar, the former chairman of Tottenham. Now he's been tweeting about this. Let's have a look at what he had to say. He says it's right for the FA to take a stance. There is no room for racist gestures in football. However, a fellow footballer Romelu Lukaku said today uh, he shouldn't be banned for that. He's just supported a stand-up comedian in France, so we don't have to make such a big deal about it. I have to say that that was a TV interview he did with his club Everton, but they took that interview down pretty quickly. Okay. So obviously some people are not happy with that comment that he made mm. within the club. I mean, you've got your ear to the ground, you know an awful lot of players and agents and football managers. Is it still a divided game? Are there still divisions like we've seen today? Two people having very different opinions of what should happen to, to Nicholas and Elka. Yes, it is. It is divided. Uh, normally through ignorance. I think that's... Not no, through racism? Not... not there is racism. There is racism in, in, in football. There's racism in the world. So, you know, we, we can't get away from that. But it is... Um, it's certainly something that is less so, you know, substantially less so than, than even a decade ago. So if you were in charge of disciplining him, what would you give him? What would you do if you were in the <sighs> FA? If I was the FA? Yeah. Well, it depends on, on um, the intent. Five, five game ban or more? Well, what that's the think? minimum that he, he should get. I mean, other players have got more for, for less. So What would you give him? Um, I'd like to stop him scoring against West Ham. That would be the <laughs> best thing he could ever do. But probably, I think, eight to ten is, okay. is reasonable. 